Again tonight with a heartbreaking story in Moulton, a seven year old little boy shot and killed in his own home and his mother Shannon Carr charged with his murder. WFO 48's Claudia Peppenhorst is in Moulton with more. It was here at this home behind me where police say a young boy was shot and killed by his mother early Friday morning. All day, Moulton residents have passed by trying to get a look at the home and understand why this would happen. This is the woman police say shot and killed her seven year old son. Shannon Renee Carr is charged with capital murder. Police arrested her after being called to this home around 2 a.m. Friday. The caller told them that someone had been shot in their home. When officers arrived at the home, they say Carr was outside and said a child was dead inside. Police say that child was Carr's seven year old son who was shot twice at close range. Neighbor Susan Thrasher says as a mother, she can't imagine why anyone would do this. It's just been a sad day because it's just hard to believe that a mother can can kill their child. So I, I just can't imagine, you know, what caused her to do such a thing. And uh, I'm just hoping the little boy was asleep. Captain Russell Graham with the Moulton Police Department says as a father, the scene was disturbing and difficult to witness. It's not easy. Uh, you know, it, any death uh, is, is bad, but uh, especially when you're, you're dealing with a small child. I've got children of my own that are right around that age. Uh, that's a little tough, but I'm, I'm trying to kind of put that aside right now and just kind of look at this, uh, you know, purely from an investigation standpoint. Neighbors say the boy spent every day outside playing and riding his bike. Some of his toys are still in the yard. Next door neighbor Tad Hazel says he simply can't believe something like this would happen in his small town. But it was shocking. Uh, I knew I've seen the little boy several times played with my dogs and uh, riding his bike down the sidewalk and it is terrible. It's, it's terrible. Carr appeared in court this morning, but is currently being held without bond in the Lawrence County Jail. She's scheduled to be back in court in just a few weeks. Reporting in Moulton, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.